We're en route to our chosen beach for the day. We've actually dropped off one of our friends at a different beach. And then at the end of the video, we're going to compare results. There could be some amazing fossils down here, or the beach where he is. Let's get down onto the beach and see what we find. I've arrived down onto the beach. I'm just waiting for Aaron to make his way down. You can see there some of the metal posts have actually washed away with the rough seas that we've had. Let's get started, shall we? Let's go. Just made my way around the corner. I'm gonna shoot off to the other side. A little bit windy, a little bit cold, but that's just how we like it. We've already picked up this nodule off camera. It's got some potential. Spotted this nodule that's just hidden between these rocks. Straight away, you can see there's a Nice ammonite inside. Let's see if there's anything else fresh. Looks like there's a nice rounded nodule just there. I'd be surprised if it didn't contain anything. So we'll keep hold of that one. Oh, there's one. See if you can spot it. It's not a very hard one to spot. There isn't much material to look through. It's actually just down there. Just set these ones down. There's another really nice Dactyloceros specimen. Let's look and see what we can find in amongst these stones down here. I'm sure there'll be something. It's a nodule, but just by the thickness of it and the shape, I know that it's probably not worth splitting open. Oh, there's a nice one just in shot here if you can spot it. It's none of this red material here, none of the sandstone. It's actually in between, it's just there. Oh yeah, it's a lovely size ammonite in there. That's really nice. We'll keep that one as is, I think. Now I've just spotted another ammonite nodule. I think it's an ammonite nodule anyway, it looks like it should contain one. Ah oh, yeah, I can see the Keel just on the edge now, actually. That looks like a nicely preserved one. It should split quite easily as well. Looks like we've got ourselves another ammonite. This one's been in the sea a little bit longer, as you can tell. The shell started to wear away. Another ammonite here. See there, the ammonite hasn't preserved all the way to the center. It's actually crushed and then infilled with mud. Just like with anything that naturally forms, there's always gonna be imperfections. It doesn't necessarily detract from the fossil itself. It's still a nice ammonite, it tells a story. Now I've just been searching this section of beach and I haven't managed to find much but I did find a multi-block of grassile ammonites so just down here is the section of grassile block which I found a few other pieces there's lots of partial ammonites preserved on the surface but further within the rock there are some really nice specimens there's a nice pyrotized one there it's nice and golden and as well as that there are a few other pieces you can see there some tiny ammonites a few imprints Leave these pieces here and if someone else wants to take them, they can. Let's keep on searching. It's always the case when you're searching for fossils that you'll find big sections of an ammonite that you wish you found when it was complete. We're just supposed to show that there are bigger ammonites out there. Just found another large section of a harposterous ammonite. See there, it's been in the sea quite some time. It's crushed on this side, but nicely 3D on this side. These are the DAC nodules that we've managed to collect so far. A few of them I can't see anything on the outside. Some of the better nodules we'll take home as is, but all the other nodules we'll crack open and see what we get out of them. This nodule 
Looks like it should split open quite well, so we'll keep hold of this one. A few of these other nodules, you can see ammonites inside, but they're a little bit too thin to try and crack with the hammer and chisel, so we'll take these ones home. These are the ones that we're left with, so let's crack some open and see if we can get anything out of them. Straight away, I know that this one, for a fact, is going to open really well. There we go. See there, a nice clean split. Let's hope that the centre's a nice one. Oh yeah, that is unbelievable. It's split open really well. I hope some of the other ones turn out just like this one. I'm going to try some of the nodules where I can't see anything on the outside now. Let's hope we're in luck. Little piece broken off. And oh yeah, an ammonite's just started to appear there. It's worth taking that one home, I think. We know one's in it now, so we're not just carrying a random rock off the beach. Let's try this nice big nodule. Right, well it was an easy split, but is there anything inside? Oh, there was one. There's a little Hildoceros inside. And now we're going to do this one. We've all just started with gentle taps. You don't want to go full force straight away. And it's actually split open really easily. Let's have a look inside. Oh, yeah. It's another really nice ammonite. A small piece of the shell broke off here, but we can just smooth this off completely. So we're left with a smaller example and it'll be completely surrounded by a nice smooth limestone, which I think will look really nice. I forgot about this ammonite, which I'm gonna keep as is. So we'll put that one in the bag and we'll prepare this one at home. I'm satisfied that I've searched this part of the beach. Of course, not everyone searches the same. Just found a nodule while I was walking and talking. No matter how many times you look over the beach, there's always other things to find. I'm now gonna make my way back over to where my brother is and see what he's found. Now, I've just been tapping that nodule with my hammer. And what's really interesting about this is there's a Dactyloceros in the top there. There's a Clavicerous ammonite there. And then this ammonite's a Phyloceros. So it's actually three different species all in one stone, all stacked on top of each other. It'll be one that we'll have to prepare at home. It's really interesting. Really pleased with that. I've been having a good look and so far I've not really managed to find much at all. Just further up ahead of me, I've come across a nice deathbed of some pirateized ammonites. So let's go have a look at those. Here's a look at some of the ammonites. This is another stretch of compressed specimens, which I actually noticed on the way over to some others, which I'd spotted just along here. So many compressed ammonites all from the jurassic see there's even more than the ones we've just looked at doesn't look like much from a distance when you get closer see there's absolutely loads all the way along some of them are quite hidden by all these little barnacles all different shapes and sizes of ammonites it's a different species really is impressive to see these fossils are being continuously eroded we're unable to save the specimens that we just looked at but we're going to keep looking and come across some better fossils which we can take home and prepare fingers crossed I can actually see Shay up ahead in the distance. Let's go and have a look and see what it's getting up to. On my way over to Shay, I'm just going to be having a look for some fossils. There's loads and loads of fresh pieces of shale all around. A few nice fossils there. We've seen a lot of ammonites, but of course, we're also looking for other fossils around here. You just never know what you're going to find. 
very easy to just be having a look and to just walk past something and someone else comes and has a look and they might find the find of a lifetime that you just missed. Of course one of the most important things you've got to bear in mind is that the coast and fossil hunting in general can be very dangerous so you've got to always check the tide times, check the weather and stay well away from the cliffs. You've got to stay safe if you're ever out at the beach having a look for fossils. Oh, there's got to be something around here that's going to be pretty cool. Oh, there's something. All right, I'll pause for a second and see if you can see this fossil. It's in shot right now. Looks like a freshly revealed specimen. I'll get a little bit closer so you can see. Right there, got ourselves an ammonite. Look at that. That is stunning. There's no erosion on this whatsoever. If you're going to find an ammonite, you want to find it like this. It's not a particularly rare species. However, still really pleased with this. It's the best fossil that I've found all day. Oh, there's another little compressed ammonite on top of this rock. A few boulders trapping it in. Not too bad. We'll leave it there for someone else to find as they come walking along. Quite a lot of these sandstone boulders have little fossils inside. Sometimes you can even find a dinosaur footprint if you're lucky enough. And down here we've got another ammonite. Another really nice specimen. And if you look here, you can see there's actually this main ammonite. And then just behind it, right there, might be a little bit tricky to see, but there's actually a smaller specimen preserved underneath it. Oh... What's this then? So I can see just over this side has been a large ammonite that someone's found. Beaten as two, this one. And then just here, amongst all of these red boulders, got a nice spherical limestone rock. Oh, and you can see, look. It's got an ammonite right there. Found a few nice ammonites there. And just a moment ago, I came across a really nice bellamite fossil as well. I can see Shay is starting to head back towards me now so I'll see what he's found and we'll excavate the big bellum night fossil which I've just mentioned. Found anything? No just an empty nodule unfortunately. I did manage to find just on the surface of the nodule that I was splitting open back there is this little multi piece and you can't tell what it is here because I've taped it up but there's actually three different species of ammonite all in this one piece. Oh wow. You managed to find much? Yeah, I've managed to find a few finds. I've got a few ammonite fossils and I've just spotted a bellamite in a shale slab. So I think we should go and excavate that if you're up for it. Overall, I think we've not done too bad. On our way over to going to collect the bellamite, we've spotted these other two slabs. There's loads of compressed ammonites on the surface of them. And these, believe it or not, were genuinely just sat here like this, being ripped out by the sea and deposited here. And then the shale's being eroded and exposed all these ammonites. But they're actually just sat there like this. Pretty cool couple of finds. We'll be leaving these here for other people to see as they come walking along, of course. Here's the bellum light that we spotted. Shay's going to excavate it now. I think I'll try and peel this thin layer of slab up first. Looks like it's come up in a couple of pieces, which isn't too detrimental. So just slide this out, just lay the fragment cone to one side. And now that we've removed it from that much larger piece of shale, be able to take this piece home. Looks great. A nice find. It's just a shame they're always so fragile because they're so calcified, they tend to just break along natural fractures. But nonetheless, it's a lovely specimen. These are the two ammonites that I found. We're going to safely deposit those in our bag. And the other nodule, which we thought would be worth opening up, we'll give it a quick tap with the hammer. Here we go. Oh! Oh, I'm really surprised about that. Hard to tell if it's going to be preserved or not. That's the next thing. But we'll be able to prepare that at some point in the future and find out for sure. Let's see what else we can find. We're just heading back now. Nice little pyrotized piece of Hildoceros. We can leave that one there. Someone else might enjoy finding it.
We've just been searching in amongst all of these stones here. We've managed to find five Panabar modules. So let's crack them up and see if we can get anything out of them. You can see here there's a couple of modules with ammonites preserved on the surface. Let's get cracking. We'll start off with one of these ones. Nothing so far. It's completely empty. Let's try another one. This is the biggest nodule of the five that we found. Oh, nothing on the surface. Oh! Whoa. Hey. It's got two in it. Well, that is a nice surprise. Usually these longer nodules don't contain anything. It's worth coming down just for this. It's really nice to find a nice elegant tisserus. This one here will keep as is, whereas this one might actually be able to split it from the other side. There we go. See there, there's a thin fracture just started to appear. Now I've hit this too hard, it probably would have completely shattered because it's so crushed. Whereas because I've started with the gentle taps, I'm hoping that the side that we want has peeled off. Look. Yes, we are. Look at that. That is beautiful. Even got a nice base. I wouldn't be surprised if it looks like it should pretty much stand up on its own. Lovely. Really pleased with those. Heading back up now. I'm going to go and meet up now with a friend and see what he ended up finding. We're certainly very happy with what we got. It's going to be interesting to see who actually got the rarest fossils and who got the most. Let's find out. We've arrived now at the second beach where our friend has been. Let's go and have a look and see what he's found. So these are some of Dave's best finds. See here, there's some really nice nodules. I mean, this particular dock here looks like a really nice size specimen. A little bit of wear, but it should prep up really nice. It's managed to pop a really nice large example there too. It's had a really good session. Which is your favourite specimen, Dave? Oh, it'd have to be tennies. You can't beat a good tenny. Yeah, those should split up and really well. Oh. Find anything other than a duck today? No, a little hildy and yeah. a bit of bone, but nothing spectacular. Just some nice ammonites. Great session. Very good session. Well done.